big up front because they do have a, a solid offensive line, and we need to uh, be able to uh, to hold up to, to them on that. Okay, uh, they're getting ready for the teams to come out on the field. Uh, we're going to – let's go ahead and just give you some of our list of our sponsors, David, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, here while we got a, a minute. Um, I'll go down our list of sponsors and, and would appreciate, um, you know, these sponsors support Kirk. Freeman Creative Media would like to present to you the 2015 Kirk Academy Raiders football season. Brought to you live. And we'd like to take a moment to thank these great sponsors. No Way Jose. Farm Bureau Insurance. Leverett Auto Glass. Stewart's Sports and More. Chris Armstrong Car Quest. Olis Paint and Interior. Paps Fish Steak and Country Cooking and Howard Company Computers and Electronics. Now let's go to the field and get to the action. You need that, or I got. I think I got one over here. All right.
right, uh, welcome back here to Winona. Number 10, Brandon Harbin is going to be kicking off the Winona Christian Stars. They again won the toss and elected to defer to the second half. Cade Smith and Dalton Bell are back. Kirk going from our right. The evening, if it wasn't, but uh, no wind, no rain. Uh, good, good night for football. Winona dressed out in their blue uniforms with uh, gold numerals. Kirk in their red pants and white numerals, while well, white shirts and red numerals. We go and we're off. The kick is a, a deep kick back to Dalton Bell. He gets it at the 15 up to the 20. He's to the 25 to the 30. Met there by a host of uh, uh, one on the stars and uh, kind of went to his own man as well a little bit, David. He did. Uh, he it, it needs to needs to watch where that block is and and uh, maybe take a different direction. But he uh, got a good starting field position around the 31. So uh, good uh, good good place to be starting. So first and ten again. Warner Herring ran right on the field. Looks good. So we got Holman Taylor. And uh, let's see, we're going to have uh, number nine. Uh, that is uh, Ben Stoker. Ben Stoker is going to get the start at the other wide outs. They come in there, two wide receivers to the left and a double slot formation. It's going to be a quick pitch to Dalton Bell. He's going to get around the corner, and he's to the four. To the, we're going to say he stepped out of bounds to four, David. Nice run there by Dalton around the left-hand side. Block by it looked like number nine Ben Stoker made a nice block on the uh, on the uh, it up and got a gain that time. First and ten, they're Kirk forty nine yard line. This time goes Holland Bailey for a gain of about two. Uh, to the 49 of Winona. Not much that there, David. So we're going to up second down and eight yards to go, just inside the the 49-yard uh, line of Winona. Just getting started here in, in Winona. 11 minutes left in the first quarter. Kirk with the ball. Again, wide receivers, receivers split to the left and right, the double slot formation. One is going to hand it off again, and nowhere this time again for Holland Bailey. He's going to gain nothing this time. So uh, it's going to bring up a third down and about seven. Looks like number 77 really stuffed that for uh, uh, so It's going to bring up a down. Had a, a, a big 20-yard gain by Dalton to start the game, and there brings up third down here to about the 48 of Winona. Again, slots to the right and the left. Dalton Bell in motion is going to fake the pitch to him. He's going to be rushed, and he's going to be sacked all the way back to the 38-yard line. So they just uh, had a hard rush there, and no blocking up front to speak of at all, and uh, big loss on the play. Tough right there, Chip, uh, especially, you know, Warner trying to maneuver with a, with a bummed ankle. Um, yeah, he's uh, Joe Stewart is going to be punting tonight, so he's still not 100% healthy. Uh, Coach Benji Pierce is over talking to a couple of those linemen up front, so he's back to punt. Be fourth down about uh, 20 at the 38 of Kirk. Back to Joe. He gets a low line drive punt. It's going to be the yeah, I think that's Joe's probably first punt, a little bit nervous, but... Uh, Take over first and ten at their own 38-yard line. So, so we're going to light up Austin. Kilburn's going to start at one defensive end. And I believe everybody else is, is the same here. So here we go, first and ten for one on 38. They have four wide receivers split, two to the right and two to the left. And quarterback going to be a quick handoff to the – to the right side, and he's going to gain about uh, five or six, eight yards now up to the 30, a uh, 46-yard line. So just a uh, speed sweep around the right side there. 
Yeah, we got blocked at the initial line of scrimmage. Nice play by uh, number 51, Jacob Moore, to come in and make the tackle. So it's second down and two. So it looks like Guanon's going to spread the field. Again, they have two wide receivers. Well, now they're going to – he's kind of in between a slot and a wide receiver. Quarterback is in the shotgun. He's going to fake it. He's going to run up the middle, and he's going to get a first down and then some down to the 42-yard line of Kirk. So just a, just a quick uh, quarterback draw there by Ferguson. Got to got to hold the got to hold the line right here. We've we're giving up too too much. So that's the first first down at the 42 yard line uh, of Kirk. So again, uh, Ferguson's up in the shotgun with uh, Zach Castile to his right. He looks. He gets the snap. It's going to be a fake. He's going to be drifting to the right. Got a man wide open out in. The, Catches the ball, but he's only going to gain about uh, two yards to the 40-yard line. So just a roll out to the right and a, and a, a pitch and catch there, but not much gain. Nice coverage downfield by the Raiders. Didn't uh, didn't give up. They just they've got to they got to make sure they contain that outside because obviously we're going to see again. It's going to be uh, a lot of speed sweeps, and that, that time the uh, lineman pulled out. Eight minutes here in the first quarter. No score. One on at the 40-yard line of Kirk. Going to be a handoff to Castile. is going to be hit there at the line of scrimmage and going to drag Wilson Brandon for a couple of yards. But, again, a, a good play there by Kirk. Nice play. Wilson came up and met the guy. He didn't sit back and wait on him. Gained about two yards. So it'll be a big third down play, third and six at the Kirk 36-yard, 37-yard line. So they have to get get just inside the 32. So uh, it's a long five. Here to go. So, again, Ferguson is in the shotgun alongside Castile. Two wide receivers to the left and to the right. Got a oh, shot of It looks like a little motion here. that time. One on seems to be walking back. Got a – going to have a good call there, David. Illegal motion on on the star. So, I'll move it back five yards. So, it's going to be third and ten now. Back at the 42-yard line. So, back to the original line of scrimmage there. So, uh Third and ten. Again, Kurt comes out with four men, four down linemen, three linebackers, and two corners and two safeties. Again, two wide receivers to the left and right with Ferguson in the shotgun beside Castile. He gets the snap. He's looking. Got pressure that time from Kilburn. It's going a long way downfield, and, and uh, they're going to have pass interference there by Andrew McDermott. He, uh, he, just, uh, he just ran right into the player there. So uh, had two or three flags there. It was a it was a good call. He just uh, uh, just didn't look for the ball and and uh, went to the player and uh, just uh, going to be a 15 yard penalty and a first down for Winona. Got to know where the football is at all times. So uh, they're going to walk this one off. Be a be a 15 yard penalty and a first down. Those right there, that those those hurt, especially yeah. when you you know you got a third and ten and got an opportunity to get your defense off the field and and uh, get a, get a, get some rest and, and you got four more downs now. So it's going to be uh, first and ten at the twenty-seven yard line of Kirk. One on the, again, Ferguson in shotgun, Castile in the back backfield. It's going to be a fake and he's going to be hit in the backfield and going to get nothing and. Uh, Wilson Brandon in there for a good tackle. Nice play. He's now we got a got a late flag. Probably gonna be uns, unsportsmanlike conduct. Oh no, personal foul on the on the Winona. So that's uh that's uh one of the mistakes we made last that's, week. That's yeah. a big big yeah, that's mistake a big, there. That's that's a one we we needed back there. So that's gonna bring it back. It's gonna be a 15 yard penalty uh, all the way back. To the 43-yard line, so uh, going to be second down. That's the best thing is it's going to be second down. Yeah. It was dead ball, so uh, going to be second down in about uh, 27 looks like. So big play there, big uh, nice. So second down and 27 at the 43. Again, no score here early in the in the first quarter. Two wide receivers to the left and two to the right with Castile in the back found besides uh no man, he didn't cross the line of scrimmage, but they're gonna call a gonna call a uh 
Offsides on Kirk, I believe. Offsides on Kirk, so we're going to give him five back. So that's going to be a now it's going to be a second down and about 22. So just uh, Joe. Joe Stewart. Joe Stewart, just a little anxious there, and uh, you can't uh, move close to that line of scrimmage in, in high school. So it's going to be a handoff right up the middle to uh, Castile. He's winding and powering his way, but he's not going to get very far. It's going to be third down and about uh, 16 as he gets down to the 34-yard line, 33-yard line. Nice play that time. We had him wrapped up at the initial line of scrimmage, and he broke away from uh, Wilson Brandon and uh, – then when the host of Raiders got him down around the 34. So big play here again, third down and about 16 at the 33-yard line. They have to get down inside the 17-yard line for our first down. So again, there are two wide receivers to the left and right, and the shotgun is Ferguson. He gets a snap. He's going to be, be pressured there by Kilburn and sat nice back at the 40-yard line nice by Austin Kilburn. So I feel, David. Very good cut. Getting, getting pressure on the quarterback, that's a scrimmage we want at that time. So it was a big play by our defense. So we're going to have a take a 30-second timeout here for the water break. It's about the five minutes and 52 te- seconds left here in the first quarter. You're listening to Star 92 at Kirk Academy Raider Football. Uh, the car business is not about the building, it's about the people. Any Kirk dealership, if you bought them there, you're in the bank. We're going to be there greeting you with a smile and treat you like family. The one thing I take serious is your automobile experience. You feel like you know somebody there. Whether whether they're family or not, we want you to feel like you're family. We'll bring everybody into your buying experience to make you completely happy with what you're buying. We even sell them to the police department. We've been leaning up against the Kirk tailgate our whole life. Fourth down at 27, back at the Kirk 44-yard line, number 10, Blandon Harbin kicks off, and he's going to be punting as well for a while. Good, a couple of big plays there by Winona, but then Kirk, uh, after a penalty, uh, stood their ground and, and uh, got a good hold here and uh, going to be force a punt. Play smart here now. Gonna run, oh, it's it's like it's going to be, I, I, I think we're off. No, I don't, that, I don't that's know, illegal motion there. Yards further back. It's going to be all the way back inside star territory at their own 49-yard line. So, uh uh, as the old saying, a country mile, fourth and country mile. Yeah, they, <laughs> they're almost where they started from when they got to football. All righty. So, Harbin back to for the punt. We got a chance to get it. We blocked it. Did you see who blocked it, David? I couldn't. Uh, Dalton it looked like played. Dalton blocked I, the punt. I, I believe he blocked the punt uh, you know, and recovered it. So that's what that's what the Raiders needed there. I mean, they had a they had a punt block on and and got good penetration from four or five of the Raiders at time, and they just didn't have enough men to pick them up. Well, I think they must have seen something on film or something because we have not uh, rushed that heavy the past two games, and uh, they must have seen something and it worked. So we're first and ten at the twenty four yard line of Wyoming. Again. Uh, no score in the ball game yet. Two Tills wide receivers it. to the left and set up for the Dalton Bell pitch, and that's what it's going to be. And side here in the end, all the way down to the ten yard line, first down, or can't tell here about the eleven. So just that quick side, and uh, he might. Nice in by the offensive line. That's uh, again good blocking up front. Well, that's first and 10 at the 11, so uh, Kirk's got a chance here deep inside Winona territory to get the first score of the ball game. Five minutes, clock is not running, although the referee is. But uh, first and 10, one or under center. It's going to be a quick pitch to. Inside the goal yard now, yeah. he's down to the yard line. Big push that time from the offensive line. 
Nice play. Second down in about a yard. Maybe a from five minutes left here in the first quarter. No score. Kirk knocking at the door. Warner Herring gets a play from Coach. Number five, Connor Boone checks in this time. So it's going to be Holman, Taylor, and Connor Boone split to the left with the double slot formation down at the three-yard line. Second down and two. Dalton Bell goes in motion. It's going to be a quick pitch to him. It's going to be a touchdown, but it's going to be some kind of flag probably holding on the Raiders. Oh, motion. Illegal motion on motion. Kirk. So uh, it's going to mock you back five yards. So it'll be second down and about eight from, from the eight. I believe he had two people going in motion that time with yeah. uh, along with Dalton there, David. We talked about execution and, and, and doing things, doing the little things, and, and uh, that's what we got to got to clean up the mistake. You know, if we don't score here, you know, we have to remember, you know, we got a touchdown back on a penalty. So second down, eight, the, just about at the eight-yard line. Kirk again with the double slot formation. Time Holman Taylor's in tight. It's a little bit different formation than what we've had. Going to be a quick pitch again to Dalton Bell. He's going to sprint to the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown, Touchdown Kirk Academy. So with four minutes and 38 seconds, we have a eight-yard touchdown run from Dalton Bell. So nice Kirk's, run. Kirk's nice run. Get on yep. the scoreboard first here. That was a very nice run that Dalton just, just outquicked him to the to the corner. So Kirk takes a six to nothing lead. Wilson Brandon is going to uh, try to kick, and he's going to be up, and it's going to be good. He's cooking much, kicking much better today. I don't know what uh, have a good game kicking last week, but pregame he really was kicking very well. So that's going seven one on to nothing. You're listening to Star ninety two in Kirk Academy. Raider football. We'll be back in 60 seconds. If you're looking for auto parts, come to Armstrong Car Quest in Grenada. New batteries, brakes, and engine parts for all makes and models. Or you can order that hard to find part with next day delivery. They also can match any paint for any car or truck. Chris Armstrong and the friendly staff are ready to help you find what you're looking for. That's Armstrong Car Quest, 590 Sunset Drive in Grenada. Or give them a call, 662-227-9575. Ford is out in front and leading the pack. At Kirk Auto Company, we strive to do the same thing. We set the bar at Kirk Auto Company. You know, you've heard cutting edge, things like that, terms like that right there. You know, it's the folks that's cutting that edge that, that really make the difference. And Ford Motor Company has come with a new product here in the 2015 Model F-150. It's gonna, it's gonna make some waves. So come see us at Kirk Auto Company in Grenada. It's a friendship. All right, we're set here for the kickoff after the eight touchdown run by Dalton Bell, his third touchdown in the, in two games. Wilson Brandon is going to be kicking off, left-footed kicker. He. Lines up and gets a squibber that's going to squibble down all the way down to the live ball. ball down to the 24 yard line. So I don't know if that was planned after last week with all the squibber, <laughs> but uh, it worked out for us. So why not? It'll be first and 10 at the 24 yard line. Tash. Looks like uh, number 70, Sean Smith. And Alex Killebrew and Austin Kilburn. So this time he goes. Number 23, Andrew Easter for a game out. Andrew. Nice play that time by Andrew. Going back. Going to be call it four yards, so second down and six at the 28-yard line. So that was the first time they've been under center, changing up things a little bit here. So this time Shaw is going to be uh, again under center with a cast back. And be 
going to be a nice tackle by Wilson Brandon. You know, when you can when you can control the the, the line of scrimmage and, and and let your backers come up and make plays and don't let the offensive line get on them, you got you got a chance. That's right. So that was a, a loss of one, so it's third down and seven. So number four, uh, Blake Marlowe is in there at the uh, deep back from the eye. So they have two receivers to the left, a top uh, up front back. So it's going to be a pass, and he's going to be looking. He's going to scramble. No, no room at all. Looks so like Easter and Bale on the tackle that time. Again, there was I just happened to be looking at the coverage downfield, and there was just nobody open that time, David. Nice, nice coverage downfield that time. So uh, a good uh, good defensive series there, three and out for Kirk. I, that may be one of their first three and out series for the year. Well, so, uh, I tell you, man, you, you, a, you get a lot of confidence when you when you, when that happens, and that's, that's what these yeah, confidence. minutes and left here in the first quarter. Kirk kept on the star zero. Harbin back to punt. And going to get the ball in good field position. We're not going to get a drive punt that's going to be all the way back to the 40. Andrew McDermott's got it to the 40. He's going to be tackled there at the 40. So uh, a line drive punt of about 10, 20, 35 yards. And it's a good thing that Andrew picked the ball up. It was going to be going back 10 or 15, 20 yards down the field. That was a nice play by Andrew that time. That could have that could have cost us a minimum 15, 15 to 20 yards additional. Yeah, because it was a line drive punt, and it had some lead on it. So it's going to be Kirk ball, first and 10, at the 40-yard line of Kirk. Two minutes and 18 seconds left in the first quarter. Kirk seven, one on a zero. Holman Taylor split far out to the right this time. A double slot formation with uh, Ben Stoker. The inside wide receiver going to be a dive right to the middle of Holland Bailey. He's going to gain about, uh, about three yards. So trying to hit that quick trap up the middle to, to spring something up the middle there, David. So it's going to bring up second down and uh, about seven at the 43-yard line. Warner gets the signal. Number 13 is coming in for Kirk. That's Benji Kendall. He's going to play wide receiver. And the coach said it'd be a they play by committee, and that's what it is so far. So it'll be a quick pitch to Andrew Easter. And he's going to tackle all the way down nice inside play. Raider, Raider uh, uh, Terry, uh, right at the 50-yard line. I believe it's going to be a first Looks down. Looks like it's going to be a first down, Chip. So that's one of Andrew's first carries of the year, maybe, at tailback position. So uh, they're looking over there and uh, – they're going to have to time out for a measurement. We'll keep it right here. So that was just a quick pitch to Andrew Easter, who has got what I've seen probably as good a speed, if not the best speed, on the team. And uh, he was running hard that time. It's going to be real close here to a first down. Their chain gang is coming out. Referee is going to put the ball down. I believe it's about an inch short. Looks like it is. It's going to be about, about, gonna be about, a, two about inches a quarter short. of a football. <laughs> so a big third down play here right at, I mean, the ball is right at midfield on the right hash mark. So it's going to be third down and, and uh, as David said, about a quarter of a football. A minute and I believe 23 seconds left here in the first quarter. Kirk seven, one on a zero. So big play here to keep this drive going, keep the defense rested a little bit over on the sidelines and, and continue to put some pressure on the one on them. Referee has got the his back. And Kirk comes up. There's plenty of room right over the tackle there if he can. Oh, it's a he kept it. Oh, and, he uh, kept it. What uh, a play by had, Warner that time. Had, had me faked off. I thought it was no game on the play, but he kept the ball, went around the left side, followed uh, Nick Denley and and, uh, and Mitch Carrero over that left side, and or Joe B.J. McCullough, I'm sorry, and got a first down. Nice pull that time by Warner. Because uh, it, it was nothing it up was the middle. Stuffed. <laughs> I mean, they had Holland stuffed, yeah. and, uh, you know, just nice play that time by Warner to pull it and uh, go off the uh, left guard for three yards, about two yards, excuse me. First and ten to 48 of one on them. Dalton Bell goes in motion. It's going to be a quick pitch to him. They're going to go around that left side. It's going to be a holding call this time. But he's going to go 
all the way down inside the 20, down to the way down there, but I'm afraid it's going to come back for holding this time. It is going to be holding. So uh, going to bring that long 30, 35-yard run back. So uh, be uh, first and 20 or so for Kirk back inside their own territory. I didn't, get the, I didn't get the number that time, but obviously they're getting some penetration knowing that sweep is coming around to that left side and the guy is going straight up the field. So we, somehow we're going to have to, we're going to have to stop at penetration. So it was at the spot of the foul, which was Golly. four or five yards behind the line of scrimmage. So it's going to be a first down and 24 wow. for Kirk. 45 seconds left here in the first quarter. So uh, we got a, a big hole as we first down. So again, two double slot wide receivers to the right and to the left. Warner's under center. He fumbles the ball, and I believe that the one on the star is going to get the ball. So just what we didn't need to happen here, the fumble, and Warner try to pull out there too quick, I think. So it's going to be one on a ball at the thirty yard line of Kirk, so defense is and uh, and uh, try to help out our offense here. So first and ten for one on at the Kirk 37 yard line. You know, you take a take a possession like that, and you had the ball down around the 20, and, and, and you get called for holding, and then the first play, yep. you know, you, you fumble the football, and now it gives them on about the 38. So get to the shotgun. It's going to be a quarterback draw up the middle, and he's going to be hit hard by by Jacob Moore after a gain of about five yards. Nice play that time by Jacob. That may be the last play of the first quarter. Ten seconds left here. I'm pretty sure that's going to be the left the last play. So three, two, one, that's going to be it. So we're going to take a 30-second a, uh, timeout. Kirk Academy 7, one on or nothing. You're listening to 92 at Kirk Academy Raider football. Howard Company has been operating in the Grenada area for 22 years. You can't do that unless you provide excellent service for your customers. If you need a new computer, printer, or networking for your business, they are the experts. They also specialize in virus removal and home security, or have them build a computer for you. That's Howard Company, 311F West Monroe in Grenada, or give them a call. 662-226-7937. The summer clearance event is here at Sunset Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Grenada. That means big incentives, bonus cash offers, low lease rates, 0% financing on select models, and much more. During the summer clearance event, you'll find a great selection of Ram trucks, the popular Chrysler 200, Jeep Grand Cherokee, Dodge Durango, and much more. Match with the best customer service you'll find. We're all about customer satisfaction. The over-top service satisfaction is what sets us apart. The summer clearance event at Sunset at Chrysler Dodge Deep Ram, corner of 8 and 51 in Grenada. The sum Unsportsmanlike conduct call and had a couple of penalties and they backed up and Kirk blocked the punt. 20 and, and went in to score Dalton Bale with an eight yard down run. So good. Second down and a, a short five to go about the 27 yard line of Kirk after the fumble. So again, this time uh, three wide receivers to the left and one to the right. It's going to be a pitch over there, a screen, and he's going to drop the ball. It's going to be incomplete. So Ben Stoke was there too, close. Uh, oh, they. Oh, okay. I thought they missed. So it's going to be complete. And now the game be uh, be third down after the incomplete pass. Start uh, back. So third and five at the 27 yard line. Receivers to the right this time, one to the left. So we need to be careful of that screen pass again. And exactly here it comes already. So it's going to be pitch out and he's got to block it. He's got to hit hard nice there by, hit by, by Jacob, Jacob Moore. Moore. A little bit short, about a yard and a half short. We'll see what, what uh, they're going to do. It's going to be fourth down, about be two yards to go. Looks like the one on bringing in their big package, so I believe they're going to go for it here. So they got their fourth and two. Got their fullback, number six, Zach Castillo, has come into the game. So they got their heavy package. No wide receivers, all 
big lineman here. Big Cack Steele is a fullback, and a defensive lineman number 54 is in the backfield. They're up. It's going to be a big number 54 is going to get the ball. He's going to get the first down fullback. Uh, we had fish. we had the initial penetration that, that got through there, but uh, I think he was – didn't realize that he that he had you know that the guy was right there beside him. That was a starting tackle, Cody Garrett, uh, at the fullback. So they they went big that play, got the first down, and they're gonna stay with the big this big uh, big front here. So see what Kirk uh, is gonna do here. They do have one wide receiver split to the left and to the right. It's gonna be another handoff to Castillo right up the middle. He's gonna be tackled up there quickly by Andrew Easter after a gain of about. Uh, three yards. Nice play that time by Andrew to come up. Well, they're going to give him four yards down to the 19, so second and six at the 19. Kirk's going to get uh, Nolan Walker back in and a little uh, smaller, quicker team out there now on defense. Under center is Ferguson. He's going to look to pass, and he's going to be pressured. It's going to be a pass out there. It's going to be caught at the – going to be hit hard and fumbled. It nice pass. play. We got the ball. Kirk's ball. Kirk's on the ball. ball. Right over here on the sideline. So I couldn't tell who was. Somebody hit Harbin really hard. He fumbled the ball. And uh, it's way on the other side of the see who I did the not. I did not get the number, but so, it was a nice play that time by the by the cornerback or cor uh, so it two was cornerbacks. Just a hard hit there, and he fumbled the ball after the completion. So it's going to be first and 10 at the 15-yard line for Kirk. So turnover uh, here with 10 minutes and 15 seconds left in the second quarter. Kirk leads 7 to nothing. Warner Herring gets the call from his coach, and Kirk comes up to the line of scrimmage. Benji Kendall and Holman Taylor split to the left with a double double slot wide receiver with Benji Kendall, I mean, by Holland Bailey in the backfield. It's going to be a handoff up the middle to Holland Bailey, and he's going to gain uh, – about uh, four, maybe five yards. So uh, nice first down. He almost broke that one, David. He did. Uh, almost had it. One, uh, as they say, he had him by the he had him by the jersey, and uh, if he if he could have gotten by him, he would have had clear. A lot of green from here to the goal line. So second down and a long six. I mean a long five. Two wide speed to the left with a double slot. Dalton Bell goes in motion again. He's going to get it, and he's going to be hit in the backfield. But he's going to break a tackle and break another tackle, but he's still going to lose about a yard on the play. So they've, they're, uh, I believe they're set up for. Uh, so long yards. So third down and seven. Hopefully, coach has got something, something pegged for that because they are. On that, uh, up the field that time. Really overplaying that uh, that right side when he when Dalton goes in motion. So this time we're going to have two wide receivers split to the right, and one to the right and one to the left with a double slot. One or under center. Dalton then going to fake it. It is going to be reversed to Holman Taylor. He's going to cut it up, but he's not going to be able to gain much there if any yard. So uh, uh, good idea. Just what. It's going to be fourth and six from just about the uh, 19 and a half yard line. So we'll see. Joe Stewart's going to go back to punt. Uh, this is his second punt of his career. Need a good snap here and good punt. Eight minutes and 34 seconds left here in the second quarter. Kirk seven, one on to nothing. A couple of turnovers here for each or One turnover for each team have kind of slowed drives for each team. So a good snap and a Good punt down, spiral of punt and a fair catch is called. It's going to hit and roll all the way down, just like what we we did when it happened to us. Just hit perfectly at the 50 and rolled all the way down inside the 30 yard. Nice line punt down. that time by Joe Stewart. But he had a nice spiral that you wanted, and it landed just perfectly and just shot forward all the way down to the 27 yard line. So uh, just just tells you how big the play that was a while ago by Andrew that saved 20 yards. So going to be first and 10 for. Winona inside the 28-yard line of uh, of Winona. 
Kirk. Uh, again, Holman Taylor's playing uh, the cornerback tonight for the for the injured Will Campbell. Kirk's going to call a timeout. No, they're not. They're yeah, they are. They're getting. A, they're calling a timeout here. Had a didn't have enough men on the field. Robbie Jackson, I guess, thought he wasn't going to be coming in. He wasn't out there. So we're going to take a 30-second timeout. Kirk Academy 7, one on a zero. You're listening to Star 92 in Kirk Academy Raider football. Olis Paint Interior at 1219 Sunset Drive has been serving Grenada, Mississippi and the surrounding area since 1994. With over 18 years in business, Marty Olis and wife Lisa have been making homes beautiful. Olis Paint Interior offers a wide variety of services such as painting, window treatments, wall coverings, and flooring, including porcelain tile and hardwood laminate. Making your home beautiful is easy with Olis Paint and Interior. Give them a call at 662-226-3127. Olis Paint Eight minutes exactly left here in the second quarter. Kirk Academy leading seven to nothing. Winona's got the ball after the probably the 45-yard punt or so from Joe Stewart. And Winona's got the ball first and ten. Again, they come out with the two wide receivers split to the left and right, and Ferguson in the shotgun. He gets the snap. It's going to be fake. He's rolling to his right. Going to be have going to be a perfect nice interception, interception. By Andrew Easter at the 40-yard line. So uh, Andrew playing his free safety position, David, and had a perfect uh, read that Not, one perfectly. You know, Andrew stayed with his receiver, knew where the ball. I mean, it was an out route to the to the sideline over here, and and Andrew just undercut it. And uh, but but as a defensive back, you got to know where the football is. And he he turned and he found the football and. You know, it makes a lot of difference. So we flip flop the field position here. Now Kirk got it first and 10 at the one on a 40-yard line. Benji Kendall again is going to come in to play wide receiver with Warner Herring at quarterback. D.J. McCullough, Mitch Carrero, Jacob Moore, Robbie Jackson, and Nick Denley are starting line here. Warner under center, two double slot. Andrew McDermott goes in motion. It's going to be an inside handoff, and there's going to be no one room there for Cade Smith maybe playing it. Yeah, Cade yeah. Smith playing that slot, giving, uh, giving Dalton Bell a little rest. So it was kind of an inside trap play there, David. A little misdirection back, uh, back into the, uh, the short side of the field that time, trying to. Connor Boone comes in as a wide receiver. Warner gets the play. They get up to the line of scrimmage. Second down and nine at the 30. We call it the 39-yard line of Winona. The double slot. McDermott goes in motion. Warner rolls to his right. He's got a man wide open there. He's got the ball. Cade Smith down inside the 35-yard line. So nice little five-yard, six-yard nice. game there. Nice play that time by Warner to roll out. And, uh, you know, just – Took his time and, and found his receiver, let him get open in the flat and uh, turn it up for for a good game. Young Cade Smith, the 10th grader, getting some playing time tonight. Again, this hot, humid night and uh, uh, just trying to give these guys some breaks so he's getting some opportunity at slot back position. So third down and five just inside the 35 of Winona. And we got a uh, another timeout here. So we'll take a 30-second timeout. Again, Kirk Academy 7. One on a zero, you're listening to Star 92 and Kirk Academy Raider Football. If you're looking for some down-home country cooking, look no further than Pap's Fish and Steakhouse. From U.S. farm-raised catfish to fried chicken, this is the closest thing to grandma's you can get. Pap's also has a party room for your family and friends, and Sunday lunch is just like Thanksgiving dinner. That's Paps 1301B Sunset Drive. If you need it to go order, just give them a call, 662-226-7935. Hey, Mom, you don't have to cook. Let's just go to Paps. I'm ready to switch over to Farm Bureau Auto Insurance. Great. Wait, my old insurance agent is offering me a safe driver discount if I stay. You know, some insurance companies don't give you your discounts until you try to switch, whereas we give you all the discounts you qualify for automatically. Awesome. Done. <laughs> Hey, hi. Your old agent? Yeah. Yeah, that's awkward. Mm -hmm. Very awkward. 
Real service, real people. That's Farm Bureau Insurance. In Grenada County, call 662-226-4931. Back to Kirk. So Kirk's got the ball, third down, five-yard line, just right about the 34-yard line. So we'll have two wide receivers split to the left. Holman Taylor have not uh, thrown to Holman tonight. Andrew McDermott goes in motion. It's going to be a quick pitch to Andrew. He quickly gets to that corner, and I believe he's going to have the first down. Let's see where his right, – no, he's going to spot it just short of maybe I think it's going to be – yep, going to be about a yard short. So Kirk uh, going to have a decision here to make fourth in about a half a yard, David. Well, we got the ball at about the 30-yard line, and it's uh, – we got about six minutes, uh, you know, it looks like we're putting our big package in this time. And, and uh, you know, if we, can, if we can get this, if we can get this first down right here, it's going to be big for the Raiders. So fourth and one. They go in motion and try and draw them off sides maybe. So it is a handoff nice. to Holland Bailey. Nice. It's all the way through the – and they're going to say the play was not down, and they're going to say it's a fumble. I thought his knee was down, but it's going to be a fumble down. Uh, they're going to call it a fumble down inside the 15-yard line. So our Kirk's kind of standing around, but uh, uh, if we had a replay, we make a change that. Coach Weiss is out there trying to talk to the officials, but uh, they're going to call it a fumble. So first and 10 on the 14-yard line. So Tough, tough. Had the nice, nice run, run, that run time through there, Holland. fighting for extra yardage, and uh, I, I think they just ripped it out there. So first and 10 at the 14 of Winona. They come out again, their double wide receiver package with Castile in the backfield with Shaw Ferguson. He's going to keep the ball, and he's going to run, and he's not going to get very far, maybe a gain of three. Joe Stewart, Wilson Brandon in on the tackle. Got a flag on the play. Oh, got a flag on the play. Yeah, I see the flag here. Now they're talking to Kirk. So it's a gain of about three. Unless it was a 10-yard pit hold, and I would say let's back them up, but I'm not the coach. So we'll see here. They're talking to coach, and I believe they're going to back them up. So it is a holding call, and so it'll be from the original line of scrimmage, I believe, back 10 yards. So that's going to probably half a distance now. So... Let's see. Going to be back down. Back down to the eight-yard line. So it'll be first down and about 16, David. So backed them up here. Got a chance to, to stop them back here. So, again, two wide receivers to the left and right. And Shaw back at Ferguson in the shotgun. Got a man coming in motion with a quick that speed run that they scored nice, on the first play. Nice, nice play. Kirk nice play that time. Swarmed around there. I can't tell. Looks like number 23, Andrew Easter again, that, that made the – that made got, got him by his jersey, and then a host of Raiders came in and helped out. Gain of three yards, so it'll be second down and 12, down about the 12-yard line. So second and 12 at the 12. Got about 5:35 left in the second quarter. Kirk, uh, Kirk up seven to nothing. So again, two wide receivers to the right and to the left, and Shaw Ferguson in the in the shotgun. He looks at the situation. He gets a snap. He's back to pass. He's going to be flushed out of the backfield. A long pass downfield is going to be caught this time by Landon Harbin. So he just threw the ball and uh, over. Uh, they just were in good position, but just made a. Bad jump on the ball, so long play there about to the 45 yard down one on them. So, uh, Andrew there just went right over his head, and, and Landon made a made a good catch there. So, first and 10 at the at the 45 yard line, five minutes and 12 seconds left here in the second quarter. Uh, Kirk had a chance to pin them back deep and let them get out of the hole here, but need to. Need to uh, still uh, have a chance here to stop them here. Again, two wide left and to the right. Shaw Ferguson in the, in the backfield. He's going to drop back to pass again. He's going to be flushed out of the pocket. He's going to going to side to run. He's going to be sacked back there by play. Joe Stewart back at the 40-yard line. So 
getting pressure on tonight, David. They, uh, the defensive backs were ready that time. They had several, several uh, wide receivers just running a go down the field, and and that's you know you can't let him sit back there. And Joe Stewart got on him, and and we got the sack. I think Benjamin Stewart from the right side put the first pressure on him, and then Joe Stewart sacked him. So second down and about 16 from it, the 39-yard line of Winona. Again, three wide receivers to the right. They run the screen screen play, and they're gonna run it again. And this time it's going to be open, and it's going to be a close to about a 10-yard game to the 49-yard line of Kirk. So uh, good blocking there. They finally completed that pass and gave yards. Going to be third down and about four at the 49-yard line. Three minutes and 59 seconds left here in the second quarter. So big third down possession here. They got to watch that stack on the outside because obviously they're going to a to a screen and and it's uh, they picked eleven yards up that time. Yep. So again, shotgun formation. It's not before he was ready and and he oh and big gone. play. So that was a man. I, I tell you, I don't big play. Got the ball before they were ready. That move lost about. Uh, Eight yards, so it'll be fourth and 12 at their own 43 yard line. And uh, got about 315 left in the second quarter. Kirk Kirk up seven to nothing, and that was a big possession right there, Chip, to, to, to hold them and have a chance to go in at halftime up. Well, we had the 30 yard pass play to Harbor, and that got them out to the 45, and then a screen pass that gained them about 11 yards out to the 50. and uh, that was a big, uh, big sack there on the. I think it was just a, a booted play actually. So they're about to lose another five yards. They got to be delay, close, yes sir. Delay a game, so they're going to back them up five more yards. Winona was late getting there. All eleven players out on the field. So Kirk's going to bring their punt return team on now. With uh, again a fourth down and about. Uh, 17 to go from their own 38 yard line. So Kirk may have their Kirk, the, I believe they may have their block, block team in. And they're going after it, but it's going to be, be a wind drive kick there and it's going to roll down to the 25 yard line and stop there. So it'll be Kirk Academy ball, first and 10, no flags, first and 10. At the 26-yard line, two minutes and 38 seconds left here in the second quarter. Kirk up seven to zero. So Kirk needs to hold on to the ball here and just get into the halftime seven nothing. If they can't put something together and hit a drive here together, because that'll be a huge momentum going into the halftime. Very, very big momentum going in to halftime on somebody else, especially a especially a rivalry game like this. So and, first and, and first and ten, Kirk at the. Winona, I mean, at their own 26-yard line. Holman Tucker and Benji Kendall split out to the right with the double slot formation. Ride him up. I don't know who had the ball. They're going to have to, they going to have to get that down. <laughs> At, at, you know, and that's going to come with practice. I know this is a new offense that, that Coach Weiss is stuck in, but you know they they're going to have to they're going to have to feel comfortable on that dive play to let it go. I think Warner actually kept the ball and just followed uh, Holland right up in there. He gained three yards, almost four, so it's a, a short seven yards to go. Second down. So, again, it's going to be an inside reverse to, to uh, Andrew McDermott. He cuts up, and he's going to gain about three yards. I'm surprised why not. I'm out here. It's going to be Got about a minute 45 left in the half. Dalton Bell gets up a little limpy, gimpy. Benji Kendall to the left with the double slot formation. Warner looks under. Dalton Bell goes in motion. It's going to be a hand to wide open up the middle to Holland Bailey, but it's going to be just short of the 
first down. Wynonna's going to call a timeout with a minute and 15 seconds left. We'll take a 30-second timeout. You're listening to Star 92 and Kirk Academy Raider football. The car business is not about the building, it's about the people. Any Kirk dealership, if you bought them there, you're in the family. We're going to be there greeting you with a smile and treating you like family. The one thing I take serious is your automobile experience. You feel like you know somebody there. Whether whether they're family or not, we want you to feel like you're family. We'll bring everybody into your buying experience to make you completely happy with what you're buying. We even sell them to the police department. We've been leaning up against a Kirk tailgate our whole life. All right, so it's uh, fourth down and about two at the 34-yard line of Kirk, for Kirk. Joe Stewart's going to come back to punt. Warner Herring has punted the first two games, but with the, the sore ankle, uh, Joe uh, had a line drive putt, his first one, but had a beautiful, 